The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer finally released and I am so ready. We also got some pops. So let's go and get this one started. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Today we're going to be sharing the Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pop set. So far in the set we have six Funko Pops, but after watching that trailer, Funko needs to make more. There's so many more they could do. Speaking of the villains, so we already have pops of all these villains, but they're mostly based off of the comic book. So hopefully we get more pops in the set. We need Dr. Octopus, the Green Goblin. Then we also have Electro, Sandman, and the last one was Lizard. And like I mentioned, all of these characters do have pops already, but they were based off the comics. So hopefully we get some more pops based off the movies. And oh my god, that trailer was amazing. I'm so hyped up for this movie. And honestly, I haven't been this hyped for a movie ever since Marvel's Endgame. And if they do what we're all expecting and what we're all hoping for, I think this movie might be better than Endgame. The hype is so built up. I haven't seen anything trend as much as this movie has been. And I can't wait. Hopefully I can score some tickets. Those tickets are going to sell out so quick. They're going on sale on the 29th and the movie comes out on the 17th of December. I'm hyped up, but let's go ahead and share all the pops. Like I shared in the first part of the introduction, this is the first pop we have in the set. We have Spider-Man with the black and gold suit and it looks really cool. It's a nice looking suit. And then on the back side of the box, you can see two other pops we have in the set. We have Doctor Strange and then we have another Spider-Man and that is with the new suit. So honestly, these pops look amazing and we have three other ones that weren't in the first wave of the set. And then the second pop we have in the set is a Doctor Strange over here. This pop looks really cool and I'm really excited to see that he's joining in in this movie. He's the one that opens up the multiverse and the rumor is from theories that it's not the actual Doctor Strange. It's an evil Doctor Strange. I personally don't think it's true but we'll find out when the movie does come out. But overall this pop does look cool. Now in the movie we have five villains confirmed. And we do have the Sinister Six, so I'm hoping that it will have one more villain. And that's not just me. It's all over the internet. A lot of people are guessing and sending out theories. Now, a lot of people I've read are hoping for Mephisto. I personally don't think we'll see him just yet. And I think he might show up in the Loki or WandaVision series instead. I think there's a higher chance of Rhino. Vulture or Hobgoblin. I'd love to see Hobgoblin, but those are the three that I'm shooting for. We'll find out soon enough. But anyways, this was the second pop. Let's go ahead and check out the rest. Last one we had in this first wave was the integrated suit Spider-Man. And this pop looks amazing. I can't wait to get it out of the box to see all the extra details. And this suit is definitely really cool. All thanks to Tony Stark and his high tech. I can't wait to see all the different suits in action in the movie. Now, I'm not sure if we've actually been introduced to all the different suits based off of these pops or the trailers. We'll find out soon enough, as well as the other Spider-Mans. Now let's go ahead and check out the second wave of pops. Another three pops we had. Of course, we have to have another Spider-Man, and this one is with the upgraded suit. But I really like the stance of this figure, and it looks really cool. This is what it looks like out of the box. And then on the back side, you can see the first three pops in the first wave. And then the second wave is this Spider-Man, as well as MJ and Ned. So here we have the MJ pop over here, and it came out looking really cool. Now, MJ had one big scene in the trailer, and it has everyone freaking out, including myself. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for it, but honestly, I want to know what happens right now. And it kills me to wait a few more weeks, but I can't wait. Anyways, so basically, MJ is falling in the trailer. You see Tom Holland, Spider-Man, reaching for her, and we don't know if he's actually going to be able to save her or not. Now, this theory over here, no joke, my fiance told me this right before we actually saw it trending all over Twitter. She told me, what if Andrew Garfield Spider-Man pops out and ends up being the one to save MJ because he feels like a failure because he didn't save Gwen. And honestly, I was like, that would be amazing. And then it started trending all over Twitter. And now everyone else is hoping that happens. But we'll see if that actually happens. It would be really cool. And then we're still hoping that Andrew and Toby do join this movie. There's no way it's not going to happen because all those villains did return. But honestly, I don't want to be too hopeful because if it doesn't happen, I'm just going to be really, really mad. And then last but not least in the set, until they make more, we have Ned over here. So Ned and MJ are Peter Parker's best friends. And honestly, I really like their friendship, not only in the movies, but in real life too. Ned is more vocal and funnier in the movies. MJ is just quiet. 
But it looks like from the trailers we've gotten for this movie, they're both getting a lot more screen time, which is really cool. So Ned has a huge theory going around. And honestly, this rumor does make a lot of sense. And as much as I wouldn't want this to happen just because I like his character a lot, it would be really cool. So Ned is rumored to be the final villain, which is Hobgoblin, like I mentioned earlier. And honestly, it does sound cool. And what better way for the villains to get at Peter Parker than turn his best friend against him. So we'll find out if that's actually a right theory just because we already mentioned some other possible villains that might be the sixth one for the Sinister Six. And then I also forgot to mention Venom. So in Venom 2, by the end credits, we see a good little teaser that Venom might possibly be in this movie. We'll find out. There's so many theories going around and it's building so much hype. I'm so hyped for this and I can't wait to see what actually happens. Might as well bring this pop out too with the possibility of him being in the movie. Now the only question is if he actually does end up in the movie, will he be a good guy or a bad guy? Also feel free to go ahead and comment down below any thoughts or theories you might want to share about the movie. We're going to go ahead and turn the camera around and get a closer look at all the pops. Once again, here's the complete set for No Way Home Funko Pops. We have six pops so far. Plenty more to come, I'm sure. We're going to go ahead and get them all out of the box for a closer look. So let's go ahead and get to the magic in three, two, one. And they're out. Here we have a closer look at all the pops out of the boxes. Really awesome details going on with these figures. And I cannot wait to see the movie. And I can't wait to see some more pops that they'll bring for the set. But overall, I'm really loving the details on all of these. Let's go ahead and get some 360 spins. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of all the pops I shared in today's video. Also let me know what would you guys like to see in the future for the set. I definitely want to see all the villains that have been confirmed. And I feel like there's so much more to come. That's why they haven't made them yet. And I'm just crossing my fingers for Toby and Andrew Garfield. There was actually a leak of a three pack for this wave. And I'm wondering if they're going to have a three pack of all the Spider-Mans. We'll find out soon enough. And I can't wait to see what's coming, not only for the movie, but for the set of pops. I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking time out of day to watch this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next ones. Thank you all for watching and peace.